Richardson speaking to you from beautiful Tracy, California. A privilege to be not only the host, but transitioning into your presenter slash trainer this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the call last night. Don't know what time it was. Probably about 1130 last night as I was seeking counsel, staying in close communication with my mentor, with my brother, with my personal sponsor, Silas Blue Diamond King. And he asked me to, to take the first part of this call. And I got to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of times I, I get the, the word at the last minute. Uh, a lot of times I get the word a little bit in advance. And there are various uh, levels of preparation that I, that I take. Sometimes I just wait for uh, some people would say the spirit to take over you and just decide uh, what, what your heart uh, takes you to, to say. And other times I, I give it deep thought and I, I don't sleep as much as I, I normally would. And, and last night was, was one of those nights because for, for whatever reason, I, I really feel a, a huge responsibility uh, for, for what I'm going to say this morning. Still haven't decided exactly what direction I'm going to go. Uh, I'll give you a little warning there. there I'm sure there will be emotion in it. Uh, all good. And it's here's something very, very, very interesting. I just know this for the very first time. Uh, we all talk about it. We all hear about it. I know we do have some new people on this call. Uh, but we talk about the different zones that we're in. We talk about the white zone where you're doing massive exposure, just getting out there and sharing samples and, and peeking, peeking, peeking people's interests and getting people into the, into the quote-unquote pipeline. And if you're on the back line, definitely want to make sure that you're muted out so that we can have a nice clear line that there are no distractions. So once again, if you're on the back line, please make sure that you are uh, muted out and in a quiet place. Uh, so uh, we have these different zones, the white zones for exposure, the blue zone uh, for showing the plan, and, and the, the red zone for closing it out, and uh, all, the, all the system and all the, the volume coming into your organization. And I looked at something. I, it's amazing. I look at this calendar uh, multiple times every single day. And I only realized for the first time that my version of the monthly achiever has different days for each of the different zones. Normally, I have understood that the, the white zone goes until the 10th of the month. And then the blue zone goes until, I think, the 20th, 21st of the month. And the red zone closes it out. But have you noticed, and maybe it's just my calendar, maybe it's just the universe telling me that goes right into the, the theme of, of what I was thinking about talking about last night, and that is the window of opportunity. That is, there is still time to achieve your goals this month. On my monthly achiever, check yours, on my monthly achiever, the white zone goes until the 15th of the month. Isn't that fascinating? Last night, uh, early into the morning, I didn't get to sleep until about 2, 2.30 this morning. Woke up about uh, at 6 o'clock with my alarm clock to get ready for the call, make sure I was awake, have my Cafe Supreme next to me. I'm looking at my monthly achiever, and the thing that I decided to talk about as an overall theme was the window of opportunity, that there's still time to achieve your goals this month and I look at my calendar and instead of the white zone continuing until the 10th of the month it actually doesn't start until the 16th now I don't know if that's just a misprint from my calendar I'm not sure if your calendar is different because I had to check I looked at different months and it's not very consistent which is very strange especially with an organic goal sometimes the white zone goes uh, until the 10th in my calendar and sometimes it goes until uh, a di different days it's, it's very interesting but let's just go with that as a theme first of all attention to detail see, see exactly what's going on and, and it's amazing how you can look at something over and over and over and over again and all of a sudden you see something differently so here's the here's the first moment of, of transparency on this morning's call I was speaking with Mr. King last night. It's a private conversation, just, just him and me. My wife was, was, was somewhere nearby listening in. And Mr. King asked me a, a very important question. He said, Stephen, actually the first words out of his mouth. He said, Stephen, how badly do you want to hit Emerald this month? And ladies and gentlemen, I paused. W what does that mean? I paused. I did not answer immediately 
there was that pause, kind of that pause that you, that, that you have when, when someone asks you, are you going to get Sapphire done this month? And there's that pause, or, or what's your burning desire? And there's that pause, or why did you join Organo Gold? And there's that pause, and what that pause means is that, that you're still working on something. Because if I had said, Mr. King, it is the most important thing in my life, it's absolutely signed, still delivered, done, that, that would have meant one thing. If I had said, well, uh, that would have meant something else. But that pause was, at, was as meaningful as, as any words that I could have spoken. And it really gets back to, once again, the theme. And I, 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 it happened to me because, and I was thinking about it, maybe that was one of the reasons why I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. It's because, as, as I like to uh, share with, with, with my organization and anybody who will listen, uh, you can always tell uh, a person's belief in, in what they are, are striving to achieve or what they're doing or what they're a part of. You can always tell somebody's belief and their level of personal development by the words that they use and how they feel. You can always tell somebody's level of belief in what they're doing and what they're going to accomplish and what they're a part of and their level of personal development by the words they use and how they feel how are you feeling right now are you happy and grateful I mean truly happy and grateful I mean just that that moment just there's just calm and there's happiness and there's peacefulness and there's joy that there's nothing but positive emotions flowing through your entire being just like you, you, you're holding your, your, your own baby in your arms or you're looking in the eyes of the, the love of your life or, or you just realize that everything you've, you've gone through and grown through ha has been achieved. Are you feeling just absolutely amazing or are you, uh, let's just say, conflicted? Or are, are there things that are going through your head that you don't want, want them to go through? And I just realized that that meant that I had to go back to work on developing my skill of believing because here's the challenge I, I had that 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 Im, important pause because I could not see with my natural eyes how it was going to get done this month that was I think that was the main thing I, I couldn't see the people who want it as badly at least as badly as I do I, I couldn't see all of the volume coming from different legs of business. I could not see with my natural eyes the actual qualifications. I could not see the, the, the volume in my back office at the time that really showed me that I was on, on proper pace in my mind, uh, on my time clock, that it was going to happen this month, and I paused. Ladies and gentlemen, what have we been talking about since the very, very beginning? First of all, stop believing what you see and see what you believe. Stop living in the present or, or the past, live in the future. That it's your words, your images, your emotions that are going to make all of the difference. And he, here, here's some perspective. Because I know just by the makeup of this call and the people who, who sounded off, that conservatively, let's just say 95% of the people on the call would be ecstatic to see what they see, when I, what I see in my back office, as far as the number of people in my organization, as far as the volume that I have so far in the bank, in you know, in, in, in into the thing this year, this month, as far as the number of people who've joined my organization, as far as my my weekly uh, dual team bonus, 95% of the people on this call, if they saw what I saw with my eyes, you would be absolutely ecstatic. You'd say. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's absolutely dumb because it is done. But you have to understand this is going to give you some perspective because I had a similar conversation on the receiving end with our own crown diamond, Mr. David M. Onitier. And I think the question went, went like this. If you saw 3,000 people join your organization last month, uh, let's just say with um, uh, seven, figures of, seven figures of volume, and multiple six figures of income, how would you feel? And of course, the people he talked to said they were they would feel absolutely amazing. And he, he just he just gave them a little snapshot that the, it, he he wasn't happy, he wasn't he wasn't satisfied. He he's a crown diamond going crown ambassador, and what he sees with his natural eye in his back office does not make him happy because he knows that it can go to a whole nother level. People such as Mr. Jose Ardone, Mr. Mr. Holton Bugs have proved that you can go to a whole nother level. So this is all relative. 
there are people on this phone who if, if they only saw two people in their organization they clicked on genealogy and they saw one person on the left and one person on the right they'd be static there are people on this call if they just saw twenty five hundred dollars in volume they, they would think they had arrived there are people on this call that if they had just received just gotten five thousand dollars of volume at the end of the month they'd be happy so it's all relative Mr. Silas Blue Diamond King, by the end of this month, will have $500,000 in his organization. I'm not sure he has much better control of his emotions and, 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 and of his, his process than, than anybody else in our organization. He, it's possible that if he actually looks at his back office with his natural eyes, he's not happy with what he sees. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all relative. We are all going through something. We are all growing through something. So just realize that. But here's the message of, the, of today. You have time as long as you stay in the game. And I am so careful of the words that I use. And I, I just want to kind of throw it out there just, just for the record, just, just to show you an example of how to use the wrong words and to how to use the right words. I just now I did not say it's so important that you do not quit. You, you can't throw out negative words into the universe the way that I understand the universe works. It, it doesn't accept positivity or negativity. It takes the words for what they are. So you can't say, I, I, I wish I wasn't broke. I wish I wasn't unhappy. I, 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 I wish I, wish, uh, I, I make, gotta make sure I don't quit. All the words have to be positive, positive all the time. Stay in there. You have time. You have time. What happens is some people, not on this phone, some people, uh, they, they, they quit in their heart before they quit in the real world. And that's the most dangerous thing you can do. And as Mr. Bugs has shared with, with us, or at least with some of us on, on private calls, that is, it, it's all about, you, you can, everyone believes on the first of the day, on the first of the month. Everyone believes, oh, I'm, oh, it's done this month. Oh, yeah, it's signed, sealed, and delivered. Uh, especially if you have your calendar all mapped out, the clock is reset, you, 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 got, you got nothing but a full month ahead of you. Everybody believes on the first of the month. But then after that first day comes by or the fifth of the month, the first authorship happens and things just start. It, it all depends on where individuals quit along the way. Don't ever, ever, ever give up on your goals. Ever. So much time left you are absolutely still in the white zone. It doesn't matter what your calendar says. It doesn't matter where it turns blue or where it turns red. You decide. You decide how badly you want this. And you have to speak it. You have to see it. You have to act upon it every single minute of every single day. That we're all on personal development, hopefully. One of the things we listen to, I'm sure, Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret. Hello, this is Earl Nightingale. I'd like to tell you about the strangest secret in the world. Can, can you hear the personal development going over in your head over and over and over and over and over again because you've heard it so many times? Can you speak verbatim the personal development that touches you the most? Whether it's cash cow, whether it's conceive, believe, achieve, whether it's the strangest secret, whether it's the magic of believing, whether it's cash cow, whether it's how to win friends and influence people, what, what, no matter what it is, whatever touches you the most that you believe and hopefully your mentor also believes you need the most, are you listening to it? Are you speaking it so much that you can literally hear it in your in your head, even if it's not playing? And when it is playing, you can sing it like your best song. You can say it verbatim. Is are you listening to it that much? Can can you see your goal so much? Just just like some of us can see the four steps. It doesn't matter if, if there's nothing, no slide or no presentation in front of us. We've seen it so many times. We've spoken it so many times. We can see it on the canvas of our imagination just like it's there can you see your goals that clearly is the question and it all gets back to the main thing of how badly do you want this we like to call this step one in those six steps of goal achievement that Mr. Immonitier uh, shared with us again on a recent main mission call what is your goal step one how badly do you want it do you want it so badly that you speak on it, that you think on it, that you believe on it, that you act on it every single minute of the day? Or is it just something that's in passing that you just happen to say when your mentor's asking you how you feel? And that's when you say your first and only affirmation of the day. Are you saying it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? Here's something I learned about the window of opportunity. 
people think the window of opportunity which right now is wide open they think it closes gradually that it's slow it's like one of those slow motion movies where the the, the door is closing you have time to squeeze underneath or or that you can see it inch inch by inch it gets smaller and smaller and smaller ladies and gentlemen the window of opportunity is wide open but here's the challenge when it shuts it shuts violently and immediately the window opportunity does not stay open forever and it does not close slowly or gradually it's wide open one minute and the next minute it's closed we've all seen it we, we, we've all gotten that notice of of your being laid off we've all gotten that that notice that 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 something's happened we got that notice of of somebody's diagnosis we've got that notice of, of, of something going on uh, that that that's the window that has closed it's either wide open or it's completely closed and when it's completely closed it's over and when that window closes for you can you look back can you look into the eyes of your wife of your children of your parents can you look into your own eyes in the mirror and look into your own heart and say I did absolutely everything that I could do everything everything I spoke to everybody and I gave them my heart. I didn't give them all the details of Ganoderma this and pay plans that and number one income in the world this. No, I spoke from the heart. I made a connection. I shared some information. I got out of the way. I followed the system and I gave everything I could do to achieve my goal. And that's when, as Mr. Nietzsche and Mr. Bugs have shared with us, you know you deserve it which is what everybody says oh you deserve it once you once you achieve something oh congratulations you deserve it you deserve it when you have earned it and you earn it when you pay the full price and how do you know you pay the full price when it gets done ladies and gentlemen this is this we used to call this the wake up call wake up and you have to know that when we're talking on this call most of us are talking to ourselves as much as we're talking to our organization as much as we're talking to the team wake up this is the time the window is wide open I, I did a little different presentation last night and I was just talking about what we're a part of N not as far as an opportunity this is not an opportunity the, the a door is not an opportunity to get outside the door is the way the, a, a path is not an opportunity to go from point A to point B. It's a way. Organo Gold is a way to get from where you are to where you're going for you and your family. And all you have to choose is decide to take the path and follow the steps, run the play. And I was just walking through as a business model. It was as if I was talking to a board of directors as, as far as those, those A players, those four checkers, those big time network markers that we all say we want into our business. I was pretending that that's who was in the room in front of me. And I didn't talk about coffee. I, mean, I talked about what I needed to. But all I did was lay out the business model. And I said, D just imagine you're hearing about this for the very first time. And you have a conversation with somebody who looks like he knows what he's talking about he or she they're, they're dressed appropriately they have a high level of confidence and belief and posture and professionalism and they say there, there's 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 some information I want to share with you about a business project that I'm working on and I'm just gonna give you some information I'm not even gonna give you the details I'm just gonna give you some of the facts first so you don't get distracted by some things that are irrelevant there's there's this project that I'm working on uh, first of all, it, it has to do with the number one income earner in the entire world. That's who's leading the way. And we have a business project in place that's only been in existence for four and a half years. And this business project, in, the, in our first four and a half years, we've generated $600 million of income. Our first year in existence, which was just a few months, we did $2 million. Our first full year of pre-launch, we did $9 million. Our third year into the game, which was really our official first year, we did $47 million. The following year, we did $152 million. Last year, we did over $300 million. We've done over $600 million, and we're projected to do over $500 million this year. And it has to do with the second most traded commodity in the entire world, the second most consumed beverage in the entire world and we're the fastest growing business in the entire industry 
And once again, we're led by the number one income earner in the world. And just for the record, we achieved that level of growth and success, and we built that momentum with basically without a single store, without a single salesperson, without a single advertisement. And because of our business model, we take half of everything we bring in in revenue, and we pay back to the people who are willing just to share the most product into the marketplace and the most information with people who potentially want to benefit from it. Based on what I share with you, are you open to getting some information about what this is about and how you might be able to benefit from it? Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you're a part of. Are you kidding me? The number one industry as far as wealth and, and, and income generation created more wealth and more millionaires. The best product ever created for that industry. You have the number one nutrient on the planet you have a track record of success that when we become, when, when that window closes and all of a sudden we're not a secret in everyone in the world, I'm talking about Forbes, I'm talking about Fortune, I'm talking about CNBC, I'm talking about every single network marketing, uh, they, they will have no choice but to, but to, I'd hate to say this, but bow down to what's going on because this is historic on what you're a part of. And every single thing you have ever, ever dreamed for, hoped for, wished for, prayed for is right in front of you and all you have to do is believe and share and get out there and give it all you have. All you have. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. How badly do you want this? How badly do you want to get, let's just say, platinum knocked out? This by 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 uh, let's just say and I'll have Mr. King correct me if I if I'm not around the timeline. How about today is the the tenth? How how about by the fifteenth? How about by the fifteenth of the month? How badly? Because for the record, all roads lead through platinum. They read they lead through through sapphire also. But you can't go diamond if you don't get platinum. You can't go emerald if you don't hit platinum. You can't go ruby if you don't hit platinum. I'm talking about qualifications also. Can't go sapphire, you don't get platinum. How about just imagine, just do the math. 5,000 of volume, basically four gold packs across an entire month, across your entire organization. Just imagine if all we did was have everybody on this phone just go platinum. Do the math 5,000 times whatever number you have. Just 5,000 times three, sapphire's done with your qualifications. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it and I'm gonna see if uh, if my brother Mr. Silas Blue Diamond King is on the phone to close this thing out and share some information with you but I, I really it it, it, it I, forgive me if I if I if I, I say something as far as making this official announcement on, on this path but but this 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 conversation with myself that just happened to be shared with a few people on the phone uh, really really is on, is on behalf of, of my sister and my brother, um, Regina Hurst and Bob Hurst. Regina Hurst is, is one of our, our original members of our family. Uh, somebody who Mr. and Mrs. King brought into my life and who absolutely was, was um, Regina was a champion, is a champion, will always be our angel. And now she's gone to the other side. She passed away this past weekend through an absolute heroic, heroic battle. Um, and I just, just... When I, when I look at the, the window that right now is, is wide open for each of us and realize that when it closes, it's, it's closed. And I, I need to be able to look into my wife's eyes. I need to look into my children's eyes. I need to be able to look into my own eyes. I need to be able to look into my crown diamond and my executive vice president's eyes and say, I gave it everything that I had so you can have no regrets because all you can do is all you can do. But are you doing all you can do? So with that, I'm not sure if Mr. Silas Blue Diamond King, Mr. King, are, are you on the phone, sir? Just because of the right point, it was right to the nerve of every single person on this phone call. And it was something that when you get off the phone, you should be able to think about what Mr. Richardson talked about all day, all night, every time you're out there sampling, 
every time you feel tired, every time you feel like procrastinating, every time you feel like saying that you're going to get this thing done and you know you're not doing what you should be doing. Folks, this is a wake-up call for every single one of you because uh, I talk about it all the time that we, we were in formulation. We're no longer in formulation. That window is closed. We're in concentration, but concentration is closely coming to an end, and we're going to hit momentum. And you've had an opportunity to be in the beginning of this, this great uh, uh, explosion of a company. Well, folks, don't, don't, don't be one of those who said, I wish I could have, would have, should have. Don't be one of those who said, I wish I could take it back in time and start over. No, be that one that your grandchildren talk about who has left a significant residual income to their family because they left it all on the line every single day. I, I, I hope you have those quarters or even silver dollars in your pocket. And you can determine how many people you're going to speak to every single day. And it, it shouldn't be less than two, and it shouldn't be as many as you believe you could. But you need to develop a habit and put silver dollars in your pocket. And there's one of those silver dollars from the left to the right every time you get a name or number. Why silver dollars? Well, you, you don't want to put pennies, because that's the people you're going to attract. You want to attract people who have uh, a, a penny mindset. You don't want to put nickels or dimes because you're not looking for those people. You're not looking for those people who want to get involved and quit or get involved and complain. You know, you know, a quarter is great because that's the type of person you're looking for, but a silver dollar is even better. You're looking for those people who are, or, 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 or four checkers. You're looking for those people who are five pointers. And you need to be speaking at every single day, but folks, you got to... Listen, listen we have so many great people on this line. So many great people that really want this thing. But see, it's more than just want it. You've got to get up every day and pay the price every single day. You can start seeing yourself on the canvas of your imagination already winning, but you also got to see yourself on the canvas of your imagination doing the work. Imagine if every single day you met 10 people. 10. And two out of the ten join your business. Two out of ten. That means you have 60 people in your business every single month. We don't sit by five every day. I mean, they join your business. You've got 30 people in a month joining your business. Folks, imagine if you were doing at least one three-way call every single day. What if you didn't go to bed without doing a three-way call? I promise you, eight to 12 people every single month would join your business. 8 to 12. And most of us don't even do 8 to 12 three-way calls in a 30-day period. Imagine if you were like a, a sampling ninja and every single day you went out and sampled everybody in your midst. Imagine if you did that. Imagine if you were selling two boxes a day and you didn't allow a day to go by that you wouldn't sell two boxes a day. That's 60 boxes in a month. That's $1,800. That would cover pretty much everybody on this phone's mortgage. But more importantly, you would have your product out in the market, but you would have over 60 boxes of product every single month in the market, but 10, 10 serviceable customers would be nothing for you. Folks, we know what to do. You know, I had some information I was going to give you. I'm not going to give that information. This was a, a powerful, impactful call. I do want to give you a couple of reminders, though. I do want to give you a couple, a couple of reminders is, Every single one of you that has not placed an order yet, you need to get your order placed because your volume will flush. You will not get your, 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 your residual income next month. You will not get your due pay money if you don't get your product ordered. There was someone this past week that lost over a million in volume because they didn't place an order. Actually, they did place an order, but they didn't do it. And folks, typically it's a month and a half they'll let you go without getting your June team done. This person, they allowed to go longer than that. Months without their June team done. But finally, officially, they cut them off and they lost over a million in volume. Do, do, do you understand what a million, by how much money that is earned if they did another million volume on the other side? See, I'd rather have money in the bank than zero in the bank. So make sure you get your product. Make sure whoever you sponsor, you put on an auto ship, minimum $100,000. Make sure you explain the importance and significance of that. Right? 
make sure if you're on this phone and, and you're involved in a railroad that you get the minimum cost done of buying at least $100 worth of product and getting your blue team to the right and one on the left. Minimum. That's the minimum requirements. That's not what it takes to be a champion, but that's the minimum requirements. Make sure you get that done. Right? Folks, we're going to be doing a 3x5 challenge. We're going to start that tomorrow. We have a day early to get 15 boxes sold. 3x5 challenge, that means in three days we sold 15 boxes, five boxes apiece, and we're going to start on a day early. We're going to cheat. We're going to start tomorrow. It's going to have four days to do it. But whatever product you sell, all right, here's the word, whatever product you sell, you take that money, you set it aside, and you buy more product on the 15th. No matter what your ownership is, no matter what it is. I've already bought, folks, I've already bought a, over a case of coffee already. I've got another case of the 15th, but we're going to accept the 3x5 challenge and whatever product we'll sell, and we're going to sell over 15 boxes. Why? Because we lead by example. We lead by example. We're not going to be a hypocrite and want you to do something, tell you to do something, and we don't do it. And we're going to buy more product. Why is that? Because this month, we would have more sapphires, more platinum spray than we've ever had before. And the reason is, we will get more product in the marketplace than we've ever done before. Yes, we're going to buy this product, but guess what? We're going to sell it into the marketplace. We're going to give away to different people. And we're going to watch the harvest. Because we understand that we got to lay it on the line every single day. Because this is the greatest business opportunity of our lives. And Mr. Steven Richardson just laid it out for us. He just shared with us why it is. And like he said, in remembrance of Ms. Regina Hurst, who uh, got involved in this business uh, simply because she had cancer and, and she could not have a bowel movement. And the product, because it's a natural body detoxifier, allowed her to have a bowel movement. I believe the product allows her to live uh, her life longer um, 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 than if she was without it. But I do know one thing. She was a champion. She was a winner. She was a fighter. Every single day she, she fought. Every single day that she was alive and she felt well enough, she got out and she sampled this product. She talked to people with respect. She built an organization that reached all the way to Springfield, Massachusetts. And her and her husband, right, Together, they battled and fought uh, cancer, and she's going on now uh, to a better place. But I tell you what, every single one of you have a chance. You have a chance to become a diamond in a bell goal, and it is time for you to step up, take charge, and make it happen. I want to turn this call back over to Mr. Richardson. Well, thank you very much, sir, and I appreciate you more than more than words can express. And, ladies and gentlemen, the, the window for you uh, this month and for this business is still wide open. But you never know when it's going to close violently, quickly shut. So let's treat today like it's the last day. And I challenge you to do the same thing tomorrow. And the same thing the day after. And the same thing through the end of this month. Let's just start out through the end of this month. Every single day, laying it on the line and being in control of your emotions being in control of your actions because that's the only thing you can control your act, your personal development and your activity and let's go out there and get this done I am who I say I am and I'm an emerald right now take care, take charge we'll see every one of you at the top hop on the coffee break call at the end of the day let's get out there and expose expose, expose now on behalf of my friend on behalf of my brother on behalf of my mentor on behalf of my personal sponsor Silas and Sherilyn Blue Diamond King. Go, go, go. Take care, everybody.